We began by talking about the death of that pilot, Michael Alsbury, uh, someone incredibly brave to do this. We wanted to know a little bit more about the man and then what could have caused this tragedy. He was an extremely brave man, um, and as all test pilots are, extreme, extremely brave people. Um, he had a young family. He was married, um, and, and his family loved him enormously. I mean, he had a sis sister that loved him enormously, parents that loved him enormously. Um, uh, but he was a test pilot, and test pilots are trying to discover things that, um, that the, you know, 400 um, engineers um, and technicians on the ground uh, can't necessarily see on the ground, and mm -hmm. the test pilots uh, push the the, 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 their craft to the limit uh, before um, finally um, members of the traveling public are allowed on it. And, and obviously, um, something happened um, that, that um, w which we will learn about um, to make sure it can never happen again. This was the 35th time that Spaceship Two had flown freely. An investigation is ongoing. I know it can take up to a year, but what do you know at this point in time about what could have caused this? Well, the NTSB are, are a wonderful group of people who um, investigate crashes, um, and they have a very strict rule, and that is no speculation. Um, and in fact, you know, the British press have I think rather irresponsibly, you know, speculated that it might have been rockets exploding, it might have been fuel tanks exploding. In fact, you know, there might have been an explosion. Uh, the, the NTSB have firmly ruled all that out um, and, uh, and have made it clear that they're coming down to um, one particular area um, that, or one particular thing that they, they believe happened. Um, but if you don't mind, I'm going to leave it to the N NTSB to uh, let you know um, exactly what it is they think happened, and, and, and then we'll wait for their definitive, their definitive decision. Let me ask you this, Richard. A year ago, when I interviewed you in the Mojave Desert, right next to, to Spaceship Two, I asked you if the risk is worth it, and you said, unless you risk something, the world stays still. Given this, is the risk still worth it? Yes, the risk is worth it, um, and, and as I say, Mike would have, would have been the first to say that. I'm sure his parents and his wife and his sisters would not say that, but, um, but test pilots would say that because they know the risk they're taking, um, that they know the importance of what they're doing. We know the importance of what we're doing, um, and, uh, you know, if, we, if, if test pilots hadn't taken risks, we wouldn't have had um, the 747, um, you, know, the, the, you know, two of the comets blew up in the early days of airline travel, and, and now um, airline travel is as safe as anything. Um, we've, we've got to go through the, the difficult testing stage of creating a space line um, in order to make it safe for um, travelers who want to travel on that space line in the years ahead. Um, and, um, and, you know, we, 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 we will persevere and, and, um, and, and we will succeed. Will you still be the first, along with your family and a few others, to take that first civilian flight into space, Richard? There is no way that I would ask um, others to travel on Virgin Galactic um, unless I'd been the first to go myself, um, uh, and therefore I will certainly be the first to travel. Um, if, it, if, it's, uh, if I didn't feel it was safe enough for myself, um, I, I, um, I, I would not ask other people to take a flight. So, um, you know, we, we will finish building the next spaceship. Um, we will learn from what happened to the first spaceship. Um, we will test it many, many times um, before, um, before we go with, you know, many test pilots flying it. Um, and then I will go. And then um, the 800 astronauts who um, have been so supportive and have signed up, si signed up to go, 